Hey folks, Malforan here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're carrying on our new campaign in Victoria 3, it's Chile. And uh, yeah, we're just going to get time going. We're still working towards the expand a productive building for the uh, tobacco plantations. If you weren't here for the first episode, uh, we're basically playing the game. Um, I've avoided all kind of content guides videos on the game because I know historically Victoria 2 was known to be super complex to play or at least had that reputation and I wanted to come into this as kind of just a general strategy player, maybe with a little bit of knowledge on Paradox Games. Can you come in and play Victoria 3 and kind of know what's going on just from playing the tutorial? At least enough that you can enjoy the game and then get into it, you know, learn some more stuff as we progress and things like that. So uh, that's basically what the series is. This is all learning the game together. If you do know the game and you're watching anyway, and you've got advice, do leave comments down below. It will help, obviously, me and other people as well. I don't necessarily like full guides and things like that, but, uh, you know, if you if you spot an obvious mistake made, uh, do call it out, and I will try and incorporate that as we continue. But, uh, yeah, we're still working towards uh, this objective here. We've also got a colony building down here, or expanding, and then I guess we have to incorporate that. Uh, we will actually have to incorporate somewhere, not like the last episode where I was just misreading something. Um, and yeah, we're working towards uh, this journal. We've also got these other ones, Patronize Romanticism. And I don't think it means patronize in that way. Uh, we'll complete if any Chilean building, uh, building is Arts Academy, has traditional art. Um, okay, so we could... Um, we could go towards this, or the Conquer of the Desert. We'll complete if at least one of the following. Chile owns all of Arucania, or all of these, owns Patagonia and Mendoza. Mendoza. Where's this? Is this all of this bit down here? Okay, yeah, so it's like historical Chile, I guess. Uh, Patagonia, which is all this area that would become Argentina in the future, or... Um, uh, Mendoza, which is this northern bit. I think we'll try and work towards this one. So we'll work towards um, this one. Oh, wait, no. At least one of these and all of these. Oh, no, you can either own the historical Chile ones, yeah, or become more of like an Argentinian uh, land down here. So I uh, will pin this because we'll, you know, we'll, we'll, we will work towards this. I guess we can just colonize this for now. So I don't think we have to have to go to war with these chaps. Oh, so it looks like we can colonize their land. And then I guess they will attack us um, ultimately if we just keep colonizing their land by the looks of it. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we'll work towards that. Uh, we, we could do this. This is one, I guess, where we can choose. Do we want to go towards romanticism or, I guess, realism? Um, if completed, isn't it romantic? Tr uh, an event will trigger. So building is Arts Academy. I mean, do we want to work on this straight away? Hmm. I, I see. I think we, we're probably going to go down the route of industrializing, building weapons. It looks like weapons are going to make us a lot of money if we can build them, or that's how it looks anyway at the moment. And um, building some rail networks, all that kind of good stuff. I think try to become like an economic powerhouse of South America. Um, I don't know. It could be interesting to go go towards this. We can be industrialized and romantic. You know, I think that's basically what the Victorians did. So um, let's have a look. Arts Academy buildings now i much prefer this view there's two views you can have this one i don't know for some reason i much prefer this one <laughs> i don't know why maybe it's because i played so much eu4 i just pre prefer this kind of view um but i think it is here i guess arts academy there it is so this will cost us money oh we don't have enough qualifications to staff it so i guess we don't have enough smart uh, smart people, basically. We could build a university, I guess. That would help us, I presume, in getting people a little, little bit smarter, which we probably want uh, kind of going forwards. But I wonder if the uh, if the uh, if the uh, tutorial will kind of guide us towards doing that anyway. That's the thing. I don't want to skip ahead of the tutorial too much. So for now, we'll leave it. We'll see what the next objective is. This one will finish quite soon, I think. Level two will complete if... Yeah, yeah, this is getting upgraded, isn't it? It might be quite far down the queue, I suppose. Yeah, it is. We told them to build those construction sectors and that port so we could get more ships. Um, Did we need the port, though? <laughs> That's the thing. Did we need to do the port? Probably not. That's where we went kind of off uh, tutorial and decided to do something all on our own. Uh, we could cancel that, I suppose. Oh, we unlocked a uh, research, so stock exchange. So again, our trade routes make more money um, and they're more competitive. 
So I guess that means, you know, even if two are selling the same thing, if you're more competitive, I guess you make more money from it. And then it unlocks a bunch of laws. Protectionism, free trade, national party as a party. So I guess we get a new party up here. And it leads to postal savings technology. Okay. Well, I guess that means we need to get a new technology. Oh, we're stockpiling gold? Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. Oh, yeah, we do have gold mines. So I guess we should probably maybe export that. That might be a good idea. I'm not too sure. Anyway, yeah. So here we go. This is the tech tree by looks it. So it looks like we have production. So obviously how we can make more money doing certain things. Can we move this? Oh, there we go. Or military. How good our military is. So is this ships? Yeah, this is ships and this is our standing army. And then society. Unlocking things that I guess just help our society all in all. So again, banking, uh, postal savings, modern sewerage. Central Archives. I'm not sure. Like I say, this is the first time. I've never played Vicky 2 and I've and I don't really know. Oh, this is just grad oh, do some of these just gradually Oh, they do. They gradually finish by other people uh, having them, I guess. So yeah, te technological progress. So we'll automatically unlock this anyway after a certain amount of time. Um so that would make our army better. I think where we are, we don't have to worry about our army too much compared to if we were playing in Europe. That's what I think anyway. 10% more convoys. I'm going to do this because I think we're going to do quite a lot of trading in this uh, campaign. So we'll do this. We'll get paddle steamer. I don't think you'd want to be on the ocean in a paddle steamer, but uh, that's what we're doing. <laughs> that's what it says anyway. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, work towards this. Research technology. Okay, so oh, actually that became a uh, requirement. Um, well, a journal entry to do one of these. Research technology. And do this so yeah it is actually get, guiding us through a little bit on how to do things and there's obviously these decisions as well Ex expedition to find the source of the nile well we're a bit a bit far away from there so we won't be doing that congo river no hold the grand expedition we could do that uh niger river expedition we won't do that map of the american western frontier oh all of this that's cool like i said in the first episode i think playing as the united states in the next one would be pretty cool because obviously you're yeah, trying to build the state so there's obviously a lot of land still to uh, kind of navigate and look through we could look up there and actually do this ourselves if we wanted to we could send somebody i guess up the coastline to do it but we don't have the right things although declare an interest in the pacific coast i don't know how you do this country maintaining an interest in strategic region signals to the rest of the world i get involved in dip diplomatic players playing there oh how do we do that because we should probably do that down here and say we we've got diplomatic um uh interest down here i'm not sure how we do this like the area of the map. Is it one of these? Medical lens? Decrees? Buildings? No. State actions? Oh, incorporate. Oh, this is how you incorporate states. There we go. We don't have one free to do, though. We could do some decrees. We won't do this just yet. I don't think there's anything we really need to do, and I, I'm sure it'll guide us to do it uh, in the future. Declare interest. Ah, there we go. Yes, yeah, so we can declare interest down here, I guess. Oh, we can't. Oh, do we already have it as an interest? Current one. Oh, no. So we have a declared interest up here in the Andes. Uh, but not down here, which is weird. I would have thought we'd stay because we obviously want to colonize all this land down here. Can we end this? Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> I guess. Why can we not do down here? Oh, we already have it. Oh, okay. I guess because it's the... Oh, it's probably the the region of the map we're already in. So we automatically have a declared interest there. Okay, that makes more sense. And then we can make more colonies if we want. I guess we don't want to colonize Patagonia yet because we're still colonizing. Oh, this is this whole section we're going to colonize. Okay, well, in that case, we'll leave that be then. I thought we were just colonizing up here, but it looks like we're maybe colonizing the whole section here. So we'll see. British... Uh, Andes interest removed. Okay, they're no longer interested in the Andes. Kind of makes sense. That's where we are, so I guess that's good for us. No significant market price changes. Well, that seems like a good thing for us. We are kind of at the whim of some other things at the moment, so uh, high tensions. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, we know about that. Oh, because we're, uh, we're right next door to them. I guess they're kind of worried we might try to steal some of their land, which we're not going to do just yet. Like I said, we'll finish these first. How are we doing for these buildings? Oh, wow, these take ages to build. <laughs> kind of feel like we've done something wrong. Although we're not on very fast speed, are we? So sure, let's speed up time. We probably, you know, we should probably cancel that uh, port getting built because, uh, like I said, we don't actually need it. 
Um, can we cancel it, or is it because it's already been built, already in the queue? Cancel the... I'm going to cancel it. Yeah, let's cancel it. Let's get these other things built. Yeah, 50 weeks, 60... Yeah, that's better. We'll do that. Uh, losing power rank. Well, that's fair. We have 27 prestige, and you currently have 26. Well, I don't think we need to worry about that just yet. We're going to get all these finished, and that's going to help us do some things. So, um... Oh, do a donation of knowledge. Vent in Santiago. Emiliano Pizet has offered to spend some of their personal wealth to fund the creation of a university in Santiago. This will likely give the industrialists some influence. But if we do get a free... Um... University, which seems like a good idea. It's going to make our people smarter. Do we care about making the industrialist more uh, powerful? I don't think so, because I think we're going to go down that route anyway. So that is a wonderful idea. I'm on board with that. I'm on board with that. Obviously, if you weren't wanting to empower them, you wouldn't do it. But uh, shortage of paper. Okay. Yeah, we know about the, the small arms. The shortage of paper, that feels like something we could probably fix. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, why not? Bagescus University got built. We're not a significant producer of it. Good production. Yeah, up here. And consumption is kind of the same area. So I guess it is going to be quite expensive for us to get this. Yeah, buy orders. The university is buying it, but it's really expensive. Can we import it like this from the British market? Okay, let's try do that. I don't know if that... Whoa, the price went flying back down. <laughs> okay, it's going up and down like crazy. Um, it's gone back to what it was, so I guess it kind of equaled itself out quite quickly. Um, but yeah, we'll import that, because I guess that means the university will work properly, which we want. Napoleonic Warfare Unlocked. This is the one that we're automatically getting because everyone else basically has it. It's going to improve our armies by the looks of it. Anyway, uh, yeah, we don't care about high tensions. Uh, these are the things we... So we could import some of these, I suppose, but I think they're just really... Yeah, I mean, look, they're really expensive. Hmm... How much does it cost us? Well, do you know what? That actually seemed like it wasn't too bad. <laughs> yeah, let's import some of these. All right, we'll import these again. I don't think we've got enough convoys. Oh, yeah, no, that was the problem. Actually, that's why we cancelled them in the first place, wasn't it? So we didn't have enough convoys. Um, I guess we'll uh, cancel that again then. Market. Trade routes. Yeah, nothing. No imports or exports. Uh, let's cancel the artillery, I suppose. Yeah, we'll cancel the artillery, and then we're over this still. And then at least we've got one of the... Uh, we've got small arms coming in. Obviously not the heavy artillery, but I don't think we will super need that just yet. Uh, we'll become an insignificant power. Well, that's harsh, isn't it? To be honest. Right, we've got the um, construction... Oh, we've got the lathe unlocked as well. Dye workshop, lathes, uh, leaded glass... And that leads to some more technologies, which we don't need to worry about because we're still doing the other ones. We're expanding the construction sector. That'll be done in nine weeks. And then we'll have 20 weeks. And then if, so in 55 weeks, we'll have the tobacco plantation finished. So uh, like I say, we'll just work towards doing that. Um, oh, wait, why is this a different market? The set, the, interesting. Have they got their own really small market down here? It looks like they do. These are all different ones. We kind of want to expand the Chilean market, I guess. Kind of incorporate more things. Um, did this finish uh, colonizing? I thought we were colonizing down here. I guess, did it finish? We'll have a look in a second. A uh, paddle steamer unlocked, so that's going to increase our convoys. That actually means we might be able to... Um, we might be able to actually import those things as well. So I think we'll go... Oh, we can't actually. We can't get any of these because we don't have hydraulic cranes. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, have we not unlocked these? Oh, no. These are different screw frigates. Okay, that, that makes more sense. <laughs> I thought it was the paddle steamer. But uh, no. Power of the purse. Naval base max level. Okay. Plus 10. Or this increases by 1. Uh, do you know what? I don't think we'll super focus on it. What's this? Percussion cup. Oh, is this weapons? Oh, yeah, this is military. We might do a, a production one. Why not? Uh, at least a steam donkey. <laughs> I want a steam donkey. Um, Bessemer process. This is for steel working. This is for better mining, which, to be honest, could be worse. We have got gold mines. We could work towards improving our gold mines. 
uh, as we go through distill distillation the lathe i mean look at all this we've got arc welding plastics dynamite mechanized farming see i think being peru uh no being chile for some reason i keep thinking we're peru chile um agriculture and mining i think just seems like the right way to go due to you know obviously the mountains and stuff that we've got atmospheric engine prospecting we've got so what do we need for this nitroglycerin we need this one bessemer process we'll do this why not we'll mix it up like i say leave a comment down below if, we, if you think we should focus on something else instead um i'm kind of just picking things that i think make sense so um <laughs> that's what we'll do oh no this is still going yeah this is still establishing colony so uh, yeah we'll leave that be we're still doing quite well we've got a little bit of money we are losing um I don't know, we are making a little bit. Actually, no, our balance is going down and down and down, but our gold reserves are going up, so not sure how that works. <laughs> kind of thought it would, uh, it would... Oh, yeah, there we go. We're losing money now. Interesting. Mining incident. I guess this has caused this to happen. A mine in Santiago has collapsed, trapping miners within the dark shafts below. The scale of the accident has made the tragedy... Uh, made the tragic, uh, the tragedy a story across Santiago and the nation. Small price to pay for the march of industry. I mean, that seems like not a good idea. The outrageous abuse of the common man cannot continue. Trade unions gain support. Or the mines are blight upon the man and countryside alike. Well, we're not doing that. We're not becoming... We, we want more mines. We want to make more money, I think. So, uh, why is this ticked? Oh, this one will automatically choose if we don't pick one. I'm going to do that one anyway. Yeah, I think we're going to focus on mining and things like that. So, I'm going to say, yeah, mines are cool. <laughs> what, what, are you, what are you complaining about? Everyone loves a good mine. Uh, this seems bad. It's probably the imports, I guess. Goods for military buildings. Yes, it is. Uh, construction goods. Oh, no, it's because we're building... Um, it's also building these, which is expensive. Uh, I think we're fine. we got gold reserves of nearly 200,000. We're only losing 5,000 a month, I guess this is. Although that actually looks like it's going down quite quickly now. Um, I mean, it's temporarily sick. Yeah, so, yeah, there we go. Yeah, finish this so the production costs gone back to normal. Okay, yeah, it's going to get bad again, though, because I think they're building this other... Oh, nothing under construction. Oh, did we finish the... Oh, we did. We finished the other one. Okay, there we go. Fix unproductive building. Improve earnings of wheat farms in Santiago. The wheat farm in Santiago is not bringing in sufficient revenue compared to its expensive to stay competitive. Use of what you've learned about buildings and production methods to try and solve this problem. You can also try and solve the problem with subsidies or trade routes, okay? So I guess we could export it and then we'd make money off that. We farms have uh, maintained a productivity of at least five um, gold, I guess, or been subsidized for four weeks. There's no one click, a one-click fix for buildings with low productivity. Again, this is kind of telling us, look for the state farms in the Santiago state panel. Uh, which I guess is... Was it wheat farms? Yes. Goods on the import side of the process are too expensive. You can focus on reducing their price. This can be accomplished by expanding buildings to produce them or importing the good from the market. Okay. So I think this is making us money, isn't it? I think this means it makes us money. I believe so. If the good on the output side of the process are too cheap, you can fo uh, focus on raising their prices. It could be an opportunity to expand buildings, consume these goods, export these goods to another market, or encourage your population to consume them instead of other goods. So I guess we're making these, and uh, we could like tell our populace to eat more apples, I guess, more fruit. Improving it, unproductive buildings' earnings. The most straightforward way to deal with the price discrepancies such as this is to establish trade routes to import the goods you need or export the goods you have in excess. Oh, so we could export um, fruit, I guess. Or wheat. I guess we're making more than we need. Can we see, like, how much we have? Yes, we make 20, uh, 20 gold by the looks of it. And there is some buy orders and sell orders, so people would probably buy it, I reckon. Uh, a different combination of product methods might... Okay, so we could change these around if we wanted to. And decrease can help throughput of a certain class of building. It's often not a good idea to increase the throughput of unproductive buildings, since it could mean even more expensive input. Uh, yeah, so we could just make it worse by boosting them. Uh, if there's no good way to make it better, you can subsidize it instead. Buildings where productivity falls low enough, they can't offer a competitive wage, will naturally adjust to the market. As a oh, so I guess it, it would change to something else, maybe. 
I don't use whatever tools. Okay, so we'll try. <laughs> I understand this. I mean, kind of, but also not. So I guess, yeah, should we try export grain? It makes me think we have a lot of grain. Oh, it says we're not a significant producer of grain. Production consumption is 184. We make... Oh, oh wait, so we import it at the moment? I guess that means we import it. Because this is consumption's nearly 200, but we make only 45. Which makes me think we're importing it. Maybe we're not. Yeah, I can't see. Does it Maybe I'm missing something obvious, but does does it show us somewhere if we have like a stockpile of this? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's go back into it. Is it wheat farms? Yes. Um I think we should change Oh, this is the one we changed before. So we can do harvesting tools. This will make it more productive, I'm guessing. Yeah, we'll make um nearly 5 gold more, 5 pounds more. Less labor is needed, more tools needed though. So we'd have to import tools, I guess, because I don't think we make them. So let's let's do this and see what happens. Let's see if that so what does it say? It have to be over five? Yes. So it's 4.7, so we need to go up a little bit more. It's actually going up. Wheat farm's being productive now, so actually maybe this will gradually increase. We'd have to worry about something else. Actually, no, our pro productivity is lowering again now. Um, or well, maybe we should just do this. No, this is tools. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably missing something really obvious here on what we can do. I mean, it did tell us what we could do. We need to improve the productivity. I mean, that makes me think this should take even more effects. I mean, like I say, oh, we could export some of these. But it does say we're not a significant producer, although the price has gone down. Yeah, it has gone down minus 0.1, minus 31%, minus 75% for uh, sugar. Can we actually just change what this produces? I wonder if that will work. Actually, thinking about it, I think it said expanding would increase it as well. So let's do a plus one on this, 21 weeks. I think that might be doing it. I'm pretty sure the first one it said was uh, expanding the uh, the size of this would also uh, work. So we'll do this for now, and then we can have a look. Like I said, we could, I think we should, I don't know, import or export this. I'm not sure which is the right way to go. Uh, we could have a look at the tooltip again. We'll see what happens when, when this finishes, but uh, we could also... We could always, um, uh, like I said, think it's that this is bad, <laughs> that it's too much, or it's not enough. So it's kind of hard to uh, hard to know for sure. Uh, anyway, yeah, we'll uh, we'll let this finish, and then we'll decide uh, what we're going to do. And then when's this finish? 145 days. Wait, does this just keep keep working? How does colonization work? Um, can we see? Progress was adding an additional province, 44 points. Uh, progress CJ is 0.4 due to... I could have sworn this was this was lower than this before. Maybe not. Maybe not. Or maybe it's just added a little... Does it just add, like, the next parcel of land? Actually, do you know what? We'll watch this and have a look. And then we'll go back to checking the other thing out. So I'm just intri uh, interested about... Uh, oh, begin imports of Men of Wars. Okay, we'll do that next. Um, I'm just interested what happens here when this fills out. Does it just expand our borders... By like a tiny amount. It's almost finished. Oh, it does. Okay. That's cool. So yeah, it actually just pushes our borders out slowly. Okay, that makes sense. That's kind of cool how that works. Uh anyway, yeah, let's let's uh, I guess we will import some of these. Resolve your input good shortage. I mean we haven't got a lot of money, but uh it wants us to do this, so I guess we should. Import men of wars. I guess for the British market, yeah, they're the only people that can do it. So there we go. That's uh, that's finished. This resolve and uh, decrease the market price of Men of Wars. Do we? Uh, okay, you have to do that for four weeks, and then that's done. And then improve this. Is this? Um, 
Is this improving after we did that upgrade? Let's have a look. No, it got worse. <laughs> it got worse. I thought it said that's how you did it. Um, sure, let's have a look at this again. And we'll, we'll, we'll try to see what we've missed here. We must have missed something super obvious. Look at the wheat farms, yeah. If the good on the import side, the process are too expensive. Oh, if this is if the uh, the tools are too expensive. Oh, so that's why it could have bad productivity because the tools are expensive for us to import, to use. And then that's obviously reducing the profit that it can make. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. So this is what you need to, to operate the wheat farms. And then this is obviously what the output is from the wheat farms. That makes more sense. Okay. Uh, the most, most straightforward way to deal with descriptors such as this established trade routes. I think if we export... Uh, I wonder if exporting... Or could we just subsidize it for now just so we get the next um, kind of uh, task to do? Decrees can help. I mean, we could do the decree. I mean, it does make us money. We just, you know, maybe... Um, where's decree? Down here. Decrees. Sure, let's do, let's do this one. How much does it cost us? 100 authority. Oh, well, Joe, we've got loads of authority, so why not? So we'll do this, and we'll see what difference that makes. And then if not, I think exporting it, because I guess we'll make more money... Oh, no, it, you know it shot up to 5, then it actually lowered to 3.8. <laughs> it's fully employed. I mean, maybe we just need more. I go Man of Wars became way less uh, expensive. That's pretty good for us. Yeah, this is... Okay, no, it is gradually going back up now. Okay, we might have done that right. We might just have to wait it out. Obviously, it's not going to change immediately. Trade route has been established for the Man of Wars, I guess. Oh yeah, finish that thing so we imported them four weeks. I guess we should import the uh, the artillery now. We have enough bureaucracy now to do it, so we'll do that as well. We are just about making enough money, so we should be fine. No, I don't want to leave on that map view. Uh, this map? No. This one? No. This one? Maybe. <laughs> no, that's the one I wanted, countries. There we go. And then wheat farms, 4.6. Oh, yeah, no, so it is going up. Yeah, okay, yeah. That did actually work. Uh, it is going up slowly. Is it going to go up enough, though? Who knows? Let's, uh, let's speed it up a little bit. Something's going down, though. 4.7. Okay, yeah, no, so it is, it is going up. So we, I don't think we need to subsidize. I think we just need to wait for this to kind of keep going up. It's fully employed. 4.7. We'll see if it goes up any more. Oh, there we go. No, yeah, so we need to hit five and then stay at five, I think, for four weeks. So, uh, yeah. It looks like we are going to hit it just by doing that change. There we are. Nice. Okay. And then I think it has to stay there. Oh, no, it's already, it's already finished, I think. Yeah, nice. No, we did finish that. Awesome. Improve supply network. So, increase the supply of convoys by a healthy margin. Our supply network has begun to buckle under the strain of overuse. You should look to remedy this before it becomes a large issue, begins affecting your trade or overseas war efforts. Increase the number of convoys by quite a lot. Okay, do we do we get told how to do this? <laughs> convoys are produced by port buildings. Oh, there. Okay, so we do need that port that we were talking about earlier that we actually cancelled. So uh, let's build a an additional port. Uh, the productivity of... Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, so, yeah, this has now recovered. We are now making more money. Okay, cool. And then our other one now is just to increase our GDP. This is an open-ended task to make use of all you've learned from buildings, markets, and trade routes to grow your gross domestic product of your country. Building buildings, growing your population, tweaking production methods, and manipulating market prices are all potential ways to grow your GDP. Uh, okay, tell me how. Yep, just increase things. Okay, so I think we've basically been let off the leash a little bit. Um, and we, I guess we work towards this. So we'll finish the supply network one, and then we'll see whether that gives us an additional one. If not, I, like I say, I think we kind of want to focus on either improving our mines 
Or, oh, what's this? Enact closed borders. Support low. So I guess we don't want to do this. I don't know where this has come from. We'll find out later on, I guess. Bessemer process is a technique for mass production of steel from pig iron. This is going to allow us to make better things. This is where we were wanting to go down um, nitroglycerin, I think, wasn't it? So we could do better at um, construction sector improvements. Oh, wait, no. I thought this was mining. Plastics, pneumatic tools, construct. Oh, this is all helping construction, which I guess does help us. The atmospheric engine pump. Is this mining? Water boiler, valve engine, combustion engine. I mean, that'd help with um, uh, engines and stuff like that for uh, railways, I guess. Compression ignition, dynamite, coal mines. Here we go. No, yes. Yeah, so we do need. Yeah, we do need nitroglycerin. No. Yes. Yeah, we need nitroglycerin because then we can do dynamite. Um, automatic irrigation, so that's going to help our farms. And then this is going to help our mines. Okay, yeah, no, no. I think we are going in the right direction. Well, for what I want to do, anyway. I don't know if it's the right one, but that's what we're going to do. As I said, leave a comment down below if you think we're heading in the wrong way, but to me, playing as Chili seems to make sense. Build up, build up our mines, build up some industry, making weapons. It looks like weapons are pretty expensive, so we can make our own, and then we can uh, export them to uh, other places as well kind of what I'm thinking. Um, in fact, saying that, um, is there any, any way for us to see that? There must be a way for us to see, like, iron. We've got the 46th most productive iron mines in the world. So I think making more of these is a better idea. Like, let's make some more mines. And then we can obviously just sell more and more, uh, sell more and more mines. Uh, iron we probably need to start making our own tools though because otherwise tools i guess are going to become expensive for us and we have no additional production methods but we are going to work towards unlocking those which is going to make them more effective giving us more money uh, i would think so yeah let's do that as well and then we'll see uh, we'll see if that works out right for us um we've got supply network issues here by the looks of it Oh yeah, we're increasing our supply. Oh no, we're working towards this. Yes, that's what we were doing. Increasing our convoy size by building the port. No, we are... Ooh, are we nearly out of money? Oh no. <laughs> oh dear, we are nearly out of money. Um, construction costs are costing us a lot. Interesting. I mean, we're going to run out of money. That seems like a bad idea. I mean, we have learned some things during this campaign. I guess we'll see whether it ends quite badly. Um, I kind of feel like we should cancel importing some of those weapons. I imagine that would save us some money. Yeah, look at these. These have gone, gone up a lot in price. Actually, these have come quite a lot cheaper than they were originally. I think it said paper was really expensive. Yeah, I guess we'll stop this for now. Although I think the longer you run it, the more effective it becomes. So I kind of feel like Although we're running out of money, so I mean, in three months we'll have no money, so I guess. Although that says we're making money, we've got tariffs on it, by the looks of it. Although we can't be making money on all these, some of these must be... Uh, these are all imports, aren't they? Yeah, see, we're importing everything, we're not exporting anything. So I guess we should probably look at maybe exporting something like fabric? Um, fruit? What does two mean? Oh, you have two valid targets to export it. Okay. I mean, I'm going to try do that, I think. The British market or the Argentinian market. So I guess this means we'd lose money, like nobody wants to import it. Whereas uh, the British market does want to import it. Anyway, I'm going to try this and see if that helps. <laughs> Let's see. I'm not sure it's going to. I'm not sure if that's going to help us at all. No, that seemed to make it worse. <laughs> We're going to run out of money in two months or two days. Yeah, two days we're going to run out of money. I guess the trade route takes a bit of time to bed in, I suppose. Uh, where's the exports? Although, yeah, this, this doesn't say there's any export demand, so... Oh, yeah, we, no, we're importing clothes as well. Fruit, there we go. One chili in root. Trade tariffs. Now, see, this does say it's making us money. Yeah, look at the market price went up as soon as we started exporting it. Which is weird. I would have thought the price would go down when you exported it, but I guess mean oh maybe it means internally 
it gets more expensive because we're obviously exporting the excess. Yeah, we're out of money, basically. I think this is going to be a good place to leave this episode for today. <laughs> so we'll leave this episode here. Uh, we seem to be doing quite well, but then also um, running out of money. And I'm guessing it's because of these buildings over here. It's only 26% through. Yeah, these ports are so expensive. Is there another way for us to do it? Converts were produced by port buildings. I mean, it just says only ports improve it, so I guess we'll have to build those ports. Uh, we have increased our GDP, though. That's gone up to 200,000. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. Maybe the game's going to end for us really soon. But anyway, we're going to leave it there for today. If you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you've learned something today, let me know in the comments down below, or if we've made an obvious mistake, you know, there's something we can be doing, which I'm sure there is, uh, do let me know as well in the comments down below. If you're new here and this is your first episode, I'm obviously trying to learn Victoria 3, ho hopefully helping you learn how to play it as well. And then uh, we're going to carry on playing it and kind of see what we can do through all the different tutorials. And uh, I play Grand Strategy, I play Crusader Kings, things like that on the channel. So if that's your kind of thing, you know what to do, hit subscribe. But for now, we're going to leave it there, and I'll see you in the next one.